I took LEGO Fortnite's build mechanic to the absolute limit by building this insanely large castle. I want to go ahead and share it with you all today. I do have to say I was hit by the build limit, so a little bit bummed because I cannot continue to expand on this. But without further ado, let's take a look at the inside. Alright, so when you first enter the castle, this is our grand entrance. So we've got a walkway balcony up there that connects the front two towers, as well as this custom fireplace that I built. So once you move past the grand entrance, you're now going to be entering what I like to call the grand hall. This took me quite a while to get things to line up the way I wanted them to, but it definitely paid off in the long run. And I also made a unique statue at the center of this with our village marker. This outdoor section here is at the rear of the castle, so if you head on through these gates and go up this staircase, this is going to lead you up to our second story's balcony. This balcony wraps all the way around the grand hall and connects to a bunch of different rooms and this front section here where it's going to take you up some stairs and lead you to the balcony that you saw in the grand entrance. Head on over to the left and it'll lead you to a room in one of our front main towers and heading to the right side will lead you to a staircase which connects to our main bridge that will take you up to a mountaintop with an ice cavern. If you make your way back towards our center tower, there is another bridge that leads to the third story balcony that overlooks our grand hall area. Now let's head back down to the first floor where we'll find our king's quarters. This is an extension off of that grand hall I showed you earlier. We've got all of our villagers beds in here, some storage units, whiskey barrels, and a cool table at the center of it. This also leads out into what I want to be our garden area, but as I mentioned before, building is currently disabled, so I'm unable to put all of the plants that I want in there. Head on up these stairs and we have our workshop. So I built this kind of center council area for some storage. We've got some books on the table, all of our different building machines that we want, lumber mill, metal smelters, stone breakers, and a ton of master chests to store all of the building materials. Now on the opposite end of our king's quarters is the kitchen. We've got Polar Peely going to town making some beautiful juice. We've got our oven, we've got the grain mill and our grill. We also got some countertops in a dining area. On the other side of our kitchen here, I wanted to make this a library, but again, building is disabled. Now on the opposite side of our other garden is another garden area, which I do plan to finish once the building limit is lifted. Now let's get a look from the exterior here. I just really want to showcase some of the cool designs I put together like this bridge and the front entrance here with that staircase. I think it's a really, really aesthetically pleasing look. There are several rooms inside of this castle that I did not show here today, and that's just simply because they're not finished. They're just plain rooms, but there is a lot of extra space inside here for my key holders to make room designs that they want to build out. But unfortunately, until Epic decides to make some kind of changes to the build limits, we're going to be kind of stuck with the castle in its current state. All right, everyone. Well, that does it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw here, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe for some more LEGO Fortnite build videos. You all have a great day, and we will catch you in the next one.